Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm ID Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. It's a sad day. It is a very sad day. It's Friday. It's always sad days. <laughs> it's no, all... it's Wednesday, TNT. It's no. not Friday. I'm sorry. All right. It's um, not Friday. You're right. We have to have a moment of silence okay. for uh, for all the weed that Snoop Dogg is going to stop smoking. <laughs> Why would we have a moment of silence for the weed that's spared? Why would we? Because <laughs> that's why. Okay. The opposite day. It's Friday. No, 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 that's true. No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday it's day. It's Friday when Wednesday. Yeah, it's Friday. It is. It is a very sad moment of affairs. But apparently, Snoop Dogg he wrote an open letter that said uh, basically that after speaking with his family and long consideration that he is. Stopping the smoke. He's stopping or, smoking and it, would respect his privacy in he, this matter. You can matter. tell that that was not his decision. Bro, his okay. wife made him stop. So here's the thing. I Look, think his kid, somebody. So here's the thing. Snoop Dogg has been around for a long time, right? He, yeah, because he is, like, I think, let's see, Doggy Style album. He was on Dr. Dre's The Chronic, which came out in, like, 91 or something. Exactly. And exactly. then his album came out a couple years later. So he's been making exactly. music for, what, 30 years now? Exactly. He's done a lot of interviews. And all he's done is smoke weed that whole time. He's done a lot of interviews. I've seen a lot of interviews. I remember certain things that are said during interviews, especially when Snoop Dogg says that he's quit smoking weed multiple times in the past. Has he? Yeah. You know who else said that? Willie Nelson. White Snoop Dogg. Yeah, he's or I'm man. sorry, a Snoop Dogg is white, black Willie Nelson. <laughs> One of them came before the other, so I have to pay Willie homage. Is like ninety, yeah. yeah. But all both of them have said that. Yeah, you know so, who else said that? Someone who overdosed on something that they were quitting. How do you overdose on? You can't overdose Not weed, on weed, but like somebody said, they were quitting smack, and then they died on smack. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you talking about DMX? Don't you dare bring up his. I'm name. not bringing up X. Ain't gonna give me nothing, dude. I mean, he can't. He's passed away from not. Not, not being able to quit, apparently. That sucks, man. It does. Poor guy. But uh, yeah, so I mean, <laughs> I don't know why he felt he needed to make a, a public statement. You know what? You know you smoke too much goddamn weed when you have to tell the world that you're stopping. Yeah. You smoke too much weed when you have to tell the world that you're quitting. That's too much. <laughs> I don't wouldn't have to tell the world if I did and stopped. Like, I don't have to tell the world I'm not going to be drinking this weekend. Nobody cares. I'm like, okay. It's like, Maybe what? he's telling everyone so they stop offering it to him. Because you know where, anywhere he goes, people just give him weed. Like, he's to the point of, like, mm -hmm. weed famous that people are just, like, they bring their best weed to Snoop Dogg hoping that he'll smoke yeah. it with them. Yeah, I mean, that is that is 100% true. And I wonder if maybe he encountered somebody that so there's so many different scenarios that go through my head. Maybe he encountered somebody that gave him something that Some didn't agree with him. Laced weed. I don't want to put that on anybody's jacket without any proof, but you know, something that didn't agree with him. And he's like, look, I'm not accepting weed from strangers anymore. So this is the easiest way for me to say it. Of course, it's bullshit because he's what, still. <laughs> what I read after that was. Oh, there's something. Okay. Yeah, I read something. Yeah. Right. It said, uh, be on the lookout for Snoop Dogg's new line of edibles. He said he's stopping smoke. <laughs> he didn't say he was stopping consuming marijuana. <laughs> and if he so, he's going to quit smoking and then he's okay, going to okay. put out a brand of edibles and just eat it now. So you just putting uh, you just putting all these cocoa pebble puffs in my in my uh, cocoa puffs, huh? You just that what you doing, Snoop? <laughs> oh my. Is that what you doing, Snoop? You yeah. just going to put you going to put some fake cocoa puffs in my cocoa puffs, huh? Yeah. All right, Snoop, I got you. He's like I'm quitting he didn't say he was quitting marijuana. He said he was quitting smoke. I already thought Snoop Dogg would have already had a, a line of edibles and uh, smoke. I'm like, I feel like he does. Like, I know Wiz Khalifa does, Snoop Dogg does, Joe Rogan, uh, Mike Tyson, like everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fucking Steve Urkel. Steve Urkel's got weed. Steve Urkel. Yeah, he's got that purple Urkel. The purple Urkel. Yeah, and oh, him wow. and Snoop did a freaking. TV spot for it. Why do I remember that? I don't know, but I know it happened. Because you love Urkel. Let me find it. <laughs> I'll find it and put it on. How do you feel about how do you feel about your your stars, the people that I guess paved the way 
for what I would say is like the lackadaisical use of mar- marijuana or even like the legalization in some of these states when they go to the point where they're like, I'm quitting. Do you feel like that sets a, an example, a precedent, anything? Uh, no, I don't because everybody gets into stuff and then they get tired of it. Whether it's alcohol, whether it's weed, whether it's dancing, whether it's fancy football, whether it's sex. Like, I mean, like everybody gets tired of, uh, gets tired of things they love eventually. Their wife, their husband. Wow. (laughs) I mean, honestly, that is fair. And that's fair too. And especially with the amount that he has, it's like, it can't hit the same. It just can't. It can't hit the same. So there's no way that he could smoke. It, it, like you got you need something different i guess or you would not even something different but i guess you would probably need to chill off on it his gateway is not uh he he's not going into crack he's just gonna like, he's not going into crack okay he wants something different <laughs> but he ain't going into crack maybe, maybe therapy is just something different i feel like the reason he smokes so much weed is because he needs therapy i think that he doesn't smoke nearly as much as people say and that he it's his persona it's his, it's his, it's exactly. his character it's his, it's a character and homeboy smokes weed yeah but but like it ain't like he's smoking all day every day but maybe he does i right? think i think the same thing with willie nelson now there's always those people that have stories with willie and with black I mean, willie i know people who aren't famous that smoke weed all day so exactly. i could i could literally see him smoking weed all day i could too and like i said there's lots of people that have said about willie and black willie that uh, you know, you smoke with them that one time and you're blowed out of your mind. I smoke with Snoop Dogg and I was crazy. I yeah, think, we got really high and nothing happened. I think Snoop keeps a little something for himself. And I think that Willie would do the same thing. And, you know, you keep that something to yourself and you give everybody else to fire. Because when you are, when you reach the pinnacle like these two guys have, you want the party to be about the other people. It's not about you. It's about the experience that they have with you. And everybody's and expecting. Stay, and you got to stay. What's that? Then you got to stay lower so you can like. Yeah. And everybody's expecting an experience out of you. They're expecting when you smoke with Willie Nelson or black Willie Nelson that you are going to get fucked up. And you're wondering how is he over there standing stoic as hell because he's probably doing something different. At least I know that's how I would behave if I were a millionaire musician and icon. I would definitely be like, it's about the party. You can't get completely wasted. You gotta be, you can't lose your cool as the person. You can't be so high out of your mind, you can't function. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, it's, I would feel like it's more about setting the tone for the party. Given right. that experience, it's, it's a Disney ride, you know? But right. You <laughs> Come join a ride, take this weed, smoke it, get fucked up, I'm gonna laugh at well, you. And it doesn't matter what I say, you're gonna be like, I had the greatest time of my life. There was an old, like, I mean, like, the comedian's old because he's dead, but Sam Kinison, mm-hmm. he had the joke that like he would go to a party and people would be doing coke, and they lay out. He would be like, he'd be like, they lay me out on a line so fat, and hand me a garden hose, and be like, go get it, bro. You know what I mean? Because everyone thought he partied so hard, and like yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That and that and that's that's the experience. You're like you're partying with Sam Kinison. He's wild. He's gonna do all these yeah, drugs, yeah, but then yeah. they like give him all the extra. Dr- you know, it's like people bring you the best stuff or like whatever, and it's like they're still just a human. Exactly. Like they can't. They're not superhuman. I mean, ask anybody who's overdosed. Yeah, ain't you that know the know truth, I mean? man? Like, yeah, that's the truth. I would say is that I I think that it's it's probably in in the spectrum of how drugs are. It's good for your persona to be something that is relatively harmless, like marijuana. I, mean, I would say, yeah, I don't yeah. think there's many famous crackheads. Yeah, because when you think Dude, of the <laughs> do meth with Scott Jones. I mean, look, when you think about any other ad- addictive component, like even cigarettes, you don't want your 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 persona to be I smoke cigarettes all the time. Right, Dennis Leary. Like we don't. We that don't was need Dennis that. Leary's persona forever. Yeah, yeah good job. The wrap around the head, cigarette yeah, smoking. Yeah, shit. good job. You're passing cancer to the kids. You can't say I drink all the time because eh, mm, mm. so weed is honestly like one of the most acceptable personas to attach to a drug or a yeah, narcotic I mean, if you're gonna be hooked to a drug it might as well be weed and not meth yeah so uh i don't know good luck to snoop dogg in his journey I over hope... under on days i'll be as a i'll be his accountability buddy if he needs one is is he last in a month 
Is he last in a month? What is that? Is he, is yeah. he gonna still smoking? Uh, no, I think he's smoking right now. <laughs> oh, ayo. Keep That's all. That's only for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, we out.